How are you? So, you know, I spend quite a lot of time on Instagram and it's where I get some of my inspiration for clothes that I like, things that spark my eye. I saw two specific items on Instagram recently and I thought that they would be super easy to recreate, especially like upcycle, like thrift something and then turn it into these things that I saw. So we're gonna do that today. And there are things that I also kind of need in my wardrobe right now, double thumbs up. So the first one is this really cute sweatshirt that I saw on Sarah's Day's Instagram and it's so cute and I love the puffy sleeves and the buttons and I thought how easy would it be to turn a hoodie or a crew neck from the thrift store into that. So that's number one. Number two is this really beautiful linen like robe top that I really liked. I saw it on Born Natives Instagram and I just think that it's something that I would wear all the time. I love oversized kind of flowy tops like that and linen is just my favorite fabric ever. So I got really lucky and I thrifted two things that are just gonna like match up perfectly with what I wanna create. So let me show you those. <laughs> Number one, we have the hoodie I will be working with to create the Sarah's Day sweatshirt thing. This was just the perfect find because I really liked the gray color. It's a nice thick hoodie. It's oversized, which I need for this upcycle. And it has um, some buttonholes with this um, lace lace up kind of like hockey detail at the top already there so it's just like um this was meant to be kind of bummed because like i kind of like the sweatshirt just how it is now but it's meant to be so we're gonna make it into something even cuter for sure next for the linen robe top i found the perfect thing it's this really really oversized men's it's a 2x tall so it's just like a ton of linen fabric and I was just like hello also meant to be because it's just great it's just like kind of unique greenish color it kind of looks like it was white and then you know washed with like something that was really green and just turned this like very light minty green but I really like it because it's unique and the linen is just so supple and soft and I'm really excited because it's just a bunch of fabric that I have to work with so that's it for that. Looking at the photo, I think I know exactly what I'm gonna do with the sleeves, which is cut off the cuffs here, and then I'm going to create that like cinched elastic balloon sleeve around like the cuff where I'm gonna cut it off right here. What else? I'm going to add buttons. I think I'm gonna do that by, you know, I'm gonna take this, this little lace out, and then I'm just kinda like gonna add buttons over one side of the buttonholes. And I don't think I'll ever want to like actually button them because this isn't, this is like for a lace, so they don't overlap to be buttoned like that <laughs> very well. So I'm not too worried about it. Let's just start with the sleeves and the buttons and see how it looks. Here is what my cuff looks like right now, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with it. Where is it? <laughs> so this is it inside out. I have my, yeah, barely made it to the end there. <laughs> I have my elastic stitched in here, just like this, just on one side down here. And I left myself a little lip of fabric up here. So I'm just going to flip it over like this and then use this extra lip of fabric right here to stitch it down all the way around with just a straight stitch so i can use that to not stitch on the elastic that i just sewed in so i can have like a nice smooth finish with a straight stitch on the outside so i'm gonna do the other cuff and then i'll sew on the buttons and then we'll get going on the rest of it Okay, 
Let's see how this looks. Uh -huh. The cuffs turned out really cute, very balloony. Okay, so I was thinking about keeping the call or the um the hood, but I don't think it like really flatters it that much. So maybe I won't. I was thinking I could make a collar on this like pretty easily. My idea was to kind of just like cut the hood off around like here so I could just have a little bit to fold under and then just like stitch and that'll be the collar. I feel like that'll turn out okay, hopefully. So I think I'll try that. And then for cutting it off, so like there's this big pocket here and it's like, do I, do I want that on there or do I just like get rid of it? I feel like I get rid of it completely. So it'll kind of even more so get rid of the idea that this was like a hoodie and it's more of like a cute top. You know, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, I like it really long like this, but at the same time, it's... I don't know how to move forward. I'm very indecisive. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna take a minute to decide, and I will be back. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I decided, I think. No, I decided. <laughs> It took me forever, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the collar, I'm gonna get rid of the hood, hid, get rid of the hood, and then for the length, I am gonna crop it, but I don't know exactly how yet. I might do like a high, low type of thing, like it kind of looks like right now. I'm just gonna start with the collar and then I'll show you how I crop it in the end. <laughs> a lot of decisions on that last one. <laughs> Moving on to the linen robe top. Let's see what my first steps here are gonna be. So I'm thinking that, okay, okay, okay. So I'm thinking that I need to remove all of the collar and both of the sides of buttons and buttonholes. And then what? Hmm. I know that I need to end up with a strip of uh, this fabric to make us like the belt, which I don't think will be a problem because there's a ton of fabric here. I also need to seam rip the pockets off. So to start out, I'm gonna first try it on and cut it off at about the length that I wanna see in the end. And then I'm going to cut off all of the buttons, the buttonholes and the collar, and then serge that end and fold it under and give that a nice finish under my sewing machine. And then we will go from there. So I have all the seams done, I hemmed it, I made the belt, and I still have yet to decide on the sleeves. What I think I'm gonna do is just like cut them off where the like the buttonholes end just is so it'll kind of look like this. But the other problem is this is really big, like very large. It's not like staying on me at all. And so I'm thinking maybe I can just take it in a little bit with one seam like down the back here so that I can kind of taper it out into the belt area right here so that I can kind of keep this volume down here rather than, I don't know, taking it in both of the side seams because I do want to keep the fullness of the sleeves. Probably have to end up putting a little clasp or something like here so that I can actually wear it as a top, not just like a cover up and stuff, you know what I mean? I'm going to try that back seam thing and then cut these sleeves off and go from there with those.
finished up all the last little details that I wanted to see on this top. I finished off the cuffs pretty simply and then I added a clasp and added a little belt loop in the back and I think that these two turned out super cute. Ooh, 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 ooh.